In this video, we're going to show how to control the micro PDM with a steering wheel. So to do this, we've got a steering wheel here. See, I can kind of get it in frame. And this steering wheel has inside of it an analog X from Autosport Labs. And this is just a very simple analog to CAN controller board that allows us to detect button presses over CAN bus. Similarly, you could use the CAN board, CAN switchboard from ECU Master. It's a little bit easier to wire up and it would support eight buttons. So either one of these, these are designed to fit inside steering wheels and for this very reason. So you buy one of these things there between uh, 150 and 200 bucks. You build yourself a steering wheel and let me show you how you configure the micro PDM to work with that. So I've got the steering wheel wired up over CAM bus here. It's on the same baud rate as the micro PDM. And, uh, but right now it doesn't do anything, right? Uh, nothing is configured to work. I can press buttons, nothing happens uh, through the micro PDM. So let's go ahead and change that. Let's change these buttons right here to map up with the buttons on the steering wheel. So that's these buttons right here. And look at that, we've got color coded to match our buttons there. Okay, so to do that, let's go into configuration mode like normal. I'm gonna go in and select this button right here. And I forget what color that button was. Let me go in and see what color that was. Uh, it's red, okay. So let's go in and let's change its external control parameter. So I need to press the parameter button until it gets to red flashing, just like that. We'll confirm it. And now we'll set that to analog X pin four because that's what's connected to my red button. So that is cyan. Let's change that until it's cyan. Confirm it, exit, flip on my ignition, and let's see what happens. Let's press the button. Look at that, it turns on and off. It doesn't matter, I can turn it on with the steering wheel, off with the keypad, off with the keypad, or on with the keypad, off with the steering wheel. They're completely redundant. So let me go in and continue this and program the other buttons. I'm gonna hold down buttons one, two, and three to go into configuration mode. Select that second button. Again, I forget what color that one was. Okay, that one's green. Great. Let's go back to it. Get to red flashing, like that. And the green one, I believe, is Analog X3. So that is yellow. Perfect. So that one's done. Now let's move on to the next button. Let me see what color that one was. That one is blue. Go into red flashing. I think the blue button on my steering wheel right down here is set to analog X1, so I think that's green. Green, perfect. And then the last one, we'll go in, and we know that one must be yellow. So we'll change that one to analog X pin 2, I believe, which is blue. We'll exit configuration mode, cycle our ignition, let's try it out. So I press the blue button, if I did this right, the blue switch should come on, hey it does. Yellow, let's go up here, green, and red. And of course these can be momentary or latching, so let's make this a little bit more realistic and let's pretend like the red button here is my push to talk button, so that should be momentary instead of latching. So that's a quick change, configuration change. Hold down the first three buttons, go over, set that to be momentary, just like that. And now we have a momentary button when I press red. So there we go, just like a push to talk button should be. If the steering wheel were to go out, no problem. 
Just press it on the keypad. Job done.